forgive and forget is the message that I have for you this morning. Because Christ came to this earth, we are with a message of mercy and forgiveness. So we, as his followers, we are to have a heart that was in him. The Savior has a boundless love for every human being, including those people that hurt him, that nailed him. So you and I, as we are going through a lot in this life, perplexities, hardships, roughness, we should always remember to forgive and forget. Even if sometimes our heart will tell us that, I will forgive, but I will not forget. However, in each and every person, we are to see a capacity for improvement. No matter who they are, no matter what they have done to, no matter what they have done to us, but we should always see a capacity for improvement. Pray for them, love them unconditionally. We must walk with God always. We must walk as Enoch did. Everyone who truly loves God will have the spirit of Christ. And we should always pray for the spirit that was in Christ because he was so forgiving to the people that did wrong to him. He forgave them all. So we are to follow his footsteps. We should have help and love for our brethren, no matter what they have done to us. But we should love them unconditionally. The more a person's heart is in communion with God, and the more his affections are centered in Christ, the less he will be distracted by roughness and hardships he meets in this life. Sometimes life will present us through different seasons of roughness and hardships to test our faith. We have to stay strong and be not distracted, but give pure love, love unconditionally. We should always forgive and forget. Be blessed. Stay blessed. Because Jesus Christ is coming so soon. As he's coming, he's coming to judge the world. We should not be found wanting. We should not be found having a grudge with someone else. But should, we should always seek peace and pursue it. Be Of God who seeks my faith.